Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video. I've done a couple now, and I'm going to change the name of this one to Fountain Fill, because this is, and I'm creating something like that, and I've got a bunch of 3D videos, and it, this was done with not Fountain Fill, and I started using Fountain Fill, and it's pretty cool. You go to, you know, Windows, Dockers, Object Properties, and there's your Fountain Fill. And then you can take your fountain. What I want to realize, when it does an ellipse, I'm using the ellipse fountain fill. When I'm using the ellipse, this isn't this isn't centered. So let's hit P and put it in the center of the page, which it is. And if you bring down some indexing lines, there's more weight below, so there's more black below. So it was kind of wonder how I could change that. And right here under X and Y, you can change the offset and where your top is going to have as much black as your other three. Because that would be pretty important when you're doing something like we're doing. Matter of fact, you could even move that one over a little bit. And you're going to have a, a blacker, even mesh. I hadn't even noticed it. In this one, it does pretty good. But there's a little bit less black than there is here. So play around with the fountain fill. It's pretty cool. It's got a lot of things. You can change a lot of things. Matter of fact, you can go from that and use the rectangular fountain fill. And it almost gives you the same effect. And that's where you would definitely want to change this. Uh, so you'd have more black in one direction than the other. And there's... The possibilities are endless. But let's put this back. Let's go downhill and put it black because I think I'm going to actually make one here pretty soon. But I hope that helped a little bit. So that's under Object Properties right there, Fountain Fields, and your whole screen will come up. You've got to be checked on something. But you can do, you can see right there, I mean, that's uh, elliptical, then there's chronicle, and then there's just linear. Elliptical if you're doing something like this, and then you adjust the colors. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.